So today is moving day. We've been camped at this spot, sort of Western Arizona area for I think 10 days now. The upper limit typically on BLM land is 14 and we could go the full 14 if we felt like it. We have enough food and water to do it. It's time for us to move on. Our friends are setting up camp somewhere southeast of here and we're looking forward to getting back together with them. From here, we're gonna go do a bunch of errands. We're gonna head into town. We've got groceries to get. We've got water to refill. We're definitely gonna stop and get some propane this time. So once we get all those things done we'll probably spend a night i think there's a truck stop off the of 10 that we're planning to sleep at and then from there we'll be headed to the next camp spot <laughs> have arrived. All the essentials. Got yourself some burritos, some table grind black pepper. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. Two pork butts. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I got two pork butts because I didn't know if one was enough and you know what they say. Double the butt, double the fun. Grocery shopping is super chaotic. There is stuff on every surface in the bus right now. This is a lot of food. We're trying to go off grid for at least 10 days. So we try to really stock up this time around. So we're gonna be absolutely full by the time I'm done with this. I think grocery shopping is more eventful in a bus than it is in any other kind of vehicle because not only do you have to deal with navigating parking lots that are always busy, always busy, and finding parking is a nightmare when you typically like to take up two spaces, but then you have to get all of the things you want to buy to fit into these tiny overhead cabinets. It's something I've gotten pretty good at over the years. It's kind of like a puzzle. And as you can see, I have reclaimed our counters once again. There's still a lot to do. We got a long day ahead of us, so let's keep going. Piper, where are we? Are we at your favorite place? Are we at the dog park? up and at them this morning. This was the first uh, Flying J truck stop we've stayed at in quite some time. When we were traveling, touring pretty hard as musicians, we stayed at these uh, pretty much every single night. Actually got a better night's sleep last night than I thought we would. It was surprisingly quiet, way more quiet than like a rest area where I think people are coming and going way more frequently. Getting some water, getting all filled up, getting stocked to be out camping again for the next however long we can go. <laughs> So the plan was to go meet up with some friends of ours way southeast of here in a spot we had never been before and we were excited to go but this bus 
was not made for off-roading. And we're starting to learn pretty quickly that all of our friends out here are a little bit better equipped for some more intense dirt road driving than we are. When we were in our van, we had really high clearance for the kind of vehicle that it was, and we really were not camping nearly as much as we are now, so it was never something we gave almost any thought. Our friends on their way out to the spot they were planning to camp at hit a couple of spots where they're like, I'm not so sure that Greg and Jess will make it out. So they videoed themselves in their vehicle going over these washes and divots, and we watched them, and there's no way. We're three feet longer than them, and we have our water tank mounted in the rear, our gray water tank, which is something I regret doing deeply. So we can't, we cannot go meet up with them. So we're gonna just try to find somewhere else for right now and maybe plan the week a little bit differently. So I'm gonna try to look for somewhere else for us to go. I'm hoping to find something maybe kind of out that direction that I know they're at. Maybe we can meet up in a couple of days. And if not, we are fully loaded down with food and beer, so I guess we will just have to make the most of it. But. It is a bummer nonetheless. Well, after some pretty slow going and threading uh, the needle through some cacti. Threading the needle. Woo! Oh God, oh, watch this one. Okay, no, we're good. We made it to this uh, new spot here. Pretty beautiful spot. It's tucked away kind of in this little grove of vegetation. I like it. Hopefully it'll be a little sheltered from the wind. I say that as the wind picks up. Made it just in time for sunset, so that's always good. Plan B's not so bad. A little nicer than the truck stop we were just at. I don't know if you can tell. Can't really get a good sense of how tall these are on a video. I'm five foot two. And these, they keep going. It's like a skyscraper. They're a lot bigger than they look in pictures. The tales we were told we would never grow old in Wichita. Good afternoon. We got parked last night and we kind of just hung out, drank a beer and uh, ate dinner and went to bed. I think both of us were pretty tired from moving around the last 48 hours. So we had ourselves a nice low key night. This morning I got up and took Piper on a walk down the dirt road that's here and noticed a couple of coyote dens not far from where we're camped. Coyotes typically when they see humans around, they're not gonna try to approach you. So I'm not really worried about it as long as she's on her lead and we uh, are outside with her. I I heard a few this morning, which means that's probably where they are. So we're gonna have to keep her on her leash. Tonight we have some uh, fancy dinner plans that I'm not gonna tell you what they are just yet. Uh, you'll have to stay tuned and see what we've got in store. Okay. And then you can slowly introduce it once that time passes. You just want to monitor, you know, if she continues to have vomiting or develops any additional symptoms like diarrhea, lethargy, or not wanting to eat, then at that time you would want to have her seen by a vet for some supportive care of those symptoms. Okay. So we've had a fun evening. Not exactly what we had planned for ourselves. Um, Piper likes to eat things that she shouldn't and it's something we've always kind of dealt with about her. We usually watch her all the time, especially out at camp. Greg was outside getting firewood and he turned around. She was on her tie out and she was chewing on this spiny, unappetizing looking plant that we really did not think that she would bother to eat. And he of course got her to stop and she threw up immediately after, which is usually a cause for concern. I guess the plant is called fiddle neck. There's a lot of it around this camp spot. It doesn't look like a plant that she would ever want to eat. When we Googled it, the reason we were concerned is after we looked it up, it turns out that this is super toxic in livestock. They'll be grazing and they'll eat it instead of grass. Once the poisoning symptoms start in livestock, it's not treatable and it ends in a fatality all of the time. So obviously we were nervous. We are probably two hours from the nearest vet. We're, we're way out in the middle of nowhere right now. And to get off of this road and all the way out there is it would have been a process, so we were freaking out. And what we decided to do was call animal poison control. 
So we sat on hold forever and we waited and we finally spoke to someone who has reassured us that she is not likely to deal with any sort of adverse events after this. Basically, she has probably ingested enough for it to be a problem for her. We're gonna follow a couple of protocols that they asked us to do, but we are not worried. She's resting comfortably. She's sleeping behind us right now. She's tired too. I'm sure that we stressed her out plenty. So cooking was Greg's pandemic hobby. We ate all kinds of different things over the course of all of 2020 when we were staying with my parents throughout the height of the pandemic. It was awesome, especially where barbecue is concerned. Greg bought himself an offset smoker really early on in the pandemic, and I have had so many different variations of brisket, beef ribs, and regular ribs, and pork butt, and chicken wings, you name it, Greg has smoked it. It has been fantastic. I cannot complain at all. In the bus, we actually designed our garage space around a smoker that Greg wanted to buy in order to keep doing barbecue while we were traveling. So he has a Green Mountain Grill pellet smoker that we carry with us. It's about 18 inches wide, so our garage is about 18 inches wide. So today we're putting our pizzas on the smoker. All right, scale one to 10. It's kind of Neapolitan. All Neapolitans are 6.8. The smoker, because you can get that thing like ripping hot, it's a good way to cook a pizza the way you want. I love our oven, but for pizza, it just doesn't get hot enough. <laughs> and you do get a little bit of, just like a kiss of smoke. <laughs> this is the official taste test. Do a donut. Do a donut. Mmm. been on my mind sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light hey darling we could get out of town see the beautiful tonight's firewood of choice cactus bone there's pretty much nothing to it it's just like a hollow tube but it burns good you know, in our old rig, we just spent so much time moving from place to place and doing the build. It was constant every single day. We were up, we were working on solving something, building something, fixing something. It's, you know, year after year of, you know, high speed movement and never really taking a minute to just sit back and appreciate the life that we've built for ourselves and all of the cool things we actually get to do while we're out here. And I feel like nights like these, slow nights around the fire kind of remind you of that. That's also another beauty of this lifestyle is that it can be intense, it can be slow, it can be all sorts of things in between. And it's kind of up to you to pick the path that you want to go on. And I think in the almost five years that we've been doing this, we've seen kind of every side of it now. We haven't really talked about where we're headed after this, but I don't uh, think it really matters because that's kind of the beauty of this lifestyle. It kind of can uh, move at the drop of a hat and that's probably what we'll end up doing. I enjoy sitting around and making plans for tomorrow, for a year from now, for five years from now, but every once in a while, it's nice to just sit here and do absolutely nothing at all. Little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get 